Yeah. Beginner subwoofers. Let's talk about that. What's up guys, it's DJ Rick Webb, and yes, today we're gonna be discussing beginner subwoofers. So we got Rockville, Behringer, Eon subs, all these beginner subs, and you know what they all have in common? You shouldn't buy them. That's right, you should not buy them. And in general, you should not buy any beginner subwoofer. And I got five reasons why. Reason number one, it doesn't add a lot. A beginner subwoofer will add a little bit of bass to your system, but it's not gonna be this overwhelming, impressive bass. It's just gonna add a little bit of bass, and it's not gonna be that noticeable. But let's say you don't care that it just adds a little bit of bass. You want that little bit of bass with your beginner tops, so you buy that beginner subwoofer. You now run into more issues, such as point two I'm about to talk about. Point number two, a beginner subwoofer is a subwoofer. It is a 15 inch or an 18 inch subwoofer more than likely, and these things are big. They're big, they're bulky, and they're heavy. And you're a beginner DJ, so you gotta figure out a way to transport this thing. And more than likely, starting off, you don't, probably don't have a big truck or a trailer to transport this thing. So you're probably using a car, so you need to figure out how you're gonna transport this beginner subwoofer back and forth to all your gigs, as well as carrying it, setting it up at venues, all these hassles to deal with with a big bulky subwoofer. And then furthermore, we can talk about point three here. Now that you have your beginner subwoofer, or maybe two subwoofers, and your beginner tops, your next move is probably gonna be to upgrade your tops to louder tops. And once you do that, your subwoofer is completely obsolete because it was already barely adding any bass to your system to start with, and now that you have louder tops, your beginner subwoofer is definitely not gonna be able to keep up with your tops. Which now rolls into point number four. The obvious solution to that problem we just talked about is to sell your beginner subwoofers. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Beginner subwoofers have absolutely no resale value whatsoever. How do I know this? Experience. If you guys have been following me from the very, very early beginnings of this channel back in 2015, I had an Eon subwoofer. I had an Eon 518S subwoofer. And I did those exact same steps through upgrading my speakers and went to sell my beginner subwoofer. Take it, I purchased that beginner subwoofer for around $650. I could not find anyone to buy it for $300. And if you guys don't know, the resale of speakers is really, really, really hard. Especially for subwoofers because they're really heavy and it costs a lot, a lot of money to ship them, so more than likely you, you can only sell it to people in your local area. And that's really, really challenging. So point number five, what am I getting at with all this? These four points I've mentioned before are all part of my personal opinion that the money that you're looking at spending on a beginner subwoofer, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 to maybe $800 for this beginner subwoofer. Save that money and put it towards buying better tops. If you were able to save that much money to buy this beginner subwoofer, you can definitely wait a little bit longer and spend the extra money to buy better tops first. If you really, really want a sub to use at some of your gigs, say you need a sub to use at some of your gigs because you just you really want that bass, go rent one. Don't buy a beginner subwoofer. It's not worth it at all in the long run. I know this from experience. By far the worst purchase I have ever made in my whole entire starting up into now being where I'm at as a DJ was buying that beginner subwoofer. I literally still have it. Now side note, don't ask to buy it because it, it broke. I was renting it out and then it ended up just crap in the bed because someone tried to blare it too loud, but I still have it. I was never able to sell it. It basically just sat around. It still sits around and collects dust. Just beginner subwoofers are just not a good option. I really, really hope that you guys understand these points that I made about beginner subwoofers, and I hope this video helped you guys kind of get your mind around uh, my logic on beginner subwoofers and why I never recommend them. Because by far on this channel, that is probably, especially around Christmas time, was probably one of the top questions I got 
was uh, opinions on beginner subwoofers and you guys sent me a lot of options from Rockville Behringer, the JBL Eons, all those different subwoofers to know my opinions on them. And this in a nutshell is my opinion. Well guys, that's my opinion on beginner subwoofers. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope it answered a lot of your guys' questions on beginner subwoofers. If it did, be sure to show some love. Give a big like on this video and share this video. Share this video on social media, Facebook, all those fun places. Uh, if you guys know any young beginner DJs, maybe um, share this with them so they can gain a perspective on why they should worry about upgrading their tops versus buying this simple beginner subwoofer. If you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all the amazing, awesome content and videos that I'm creating for you guys and posting on this channel and whatnot. Also, if you guys want to pick up a shirt, I hate teardown, DJ Life Clothing, links right there. Also links in the description down below so you guys can go pick out a shirt. There's tons of DJ, funny DJ related quote t-shirts um, that, that you can pick up and buy and stuff. High quality shirts too. But yeah guys, that's all for this quick little DJ topic video. If you guys want to see more of these quick little videos like that, be sure to leave it down in the comment section back down 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 below down below do it and like always my name is dj rick webb keep them records spinning guys i'll see you guys next time peace